And welcome back to video number two, publishing today. If you missed the first one, upper right hand corner, unboxing some shoes from Running Warehouse, it's a good one. But deals is the key word for this vlog because I'm trying to help as many of you possible and there's a lot of running shoes, uh, trail running shoes I'm about to mention, but I'm trying to help you find some good hot deals for Memorial Day weekend, but of course we have to remember why we can go out and run, why we can buy running shoes from places around the world. And I realize there's people watching outside the US, but on Monday, uh, we are memorializing, we're remembering those who gave their lives for this country in the line of battle, in, in combat, in wars uh, for this country. So anyway, just want to mention and remember those who gave everything so that we can be free to go run and to go buy shoes and to uh, seek out beauty and just to live life uh, in freedom. And I'm sure there's country uh, people watching in countries around the world who have Memorial Days uh, on different dates. But anyway, just want to mention if you have a loved one who maybe uh, died in a war that um, just remembering them on this Memorial Day weekend here on this YouTube channel. All right, shall we dive in? Let's do it. I've got some notes here. We've got about five or six different shoes. Like I mentioned, a lot of trail running shoes, and I have them uh, listed up here on my computer. Uh, we're going to start with, crazy enough, Left Lane Sports. That's right, Left Lane Sports, the New Balance Summit King of the Mountain, usually $120, coming in at $69.99 right now. That's amazing. Basically, almost 50% off, not, not, not quite. And I also want to mention real quick that I've tried on all of these shoes in store. I don't own all of them, but I have tried them on in store. So just want to mention that as well. So the New Balance Summit King of the Mountain, uh, $69.99. I would call it a shoe for a buffed out trail shoe. So not aggressive trails, not crazy rocks, but more of a buffed out trail, uh, gravel roads, that type of trail running shoe. And it just, uh, I again, I don't own this one, but that price point is tempting me to maybe snag them up. The reason I don't own them is basically I just don't need them at this point. Uh, but they definitely are on my radar as a potential shoe. And yes, they are from Left Lane Sports. Okay, that's shoe number one, $70. Okay, and it's almost summertime. So it's like, tra at least in north the Northern Hemisphere. So that means like trail running season is kicking into full gear. Okay, shoe number two, REI. You better believe it. Oh my goodness, the Solomon Speed Cross 5 coming in at $97. That is amazing. I... I might have to pick up a second pair. I don't know yet. I'm still on the fence a little bit. Uh, but so this Solomon Speed Cross 5 is coming in at 97, usually $130 from Solomon. So about a 25% savings from REI and definitely a very aggressive trail running shoe. Huge lug depth. You know how much I love this shoe, how much I use it for uphill running. And so if you live in a region of the world that has big mountains and you don't mind a shoe that is uh, a little, it's a little heavy, uh, definitely a little heavy, but it will get you up those steep, aggressive, rocky, rooted mountain uh, runs. So I love this guy, the Solomon Speed Cross 5, and we're just gonna continue right on to Running Warehouse. That is right, Running Warehouse has a huge selection of trail running shoes on sale for men and women, all right? so but. I'm gonna hone in on Solomon once again because uh, I am familiar with them the most. And we're gonna talk first of all about the Solomon Ultra 2. Now this is the Ultra 1, the first iteration. I don't own the Ultra 2 yet, but I've heard they're pretty similar, uh, a little bit different through the upper, but we're talking $180 brand new, coming in on Running Warehouse at $135. A pretty good savings, basically $50, not too bad uh, for the Solomon. And this is a good shoe for a uh, longer trail runs up in the mountains, uh, even like a good solid 50K trail race. This is a money shot for that. That doesn't have crazy amounts of vertical, more like the, I would say 2,000 to 6,000 feet of vertical gain, not like the 10,000 plus feet of vertical gain. And then running shoe number two from Running Warehouse. That's right, the Solomon S-Lab Sense 
seven. This is the Sense 6. I am going to make a purchase today for the Solomon S Lab Sense 6, uh, Sense 7 SG. Uh, so the soft ground version of this shoe, once again, coming in at $135 down from $180. Now listen, Solomon shoes are expensive. It's just their, it's just their reality. Why? Because they make their shoes high build quality. Like their shoes last a long, long time. So I know $135 is a lot of money, but I bet you'll get two or three seasons out of, I'm not even, I'm not exaggerating, two or three seasons out of a Solomon running shoe, depending of course on how many miles, but they're just really, really well built. And this SG, uh, S-Lab Sense 7 SG is an uphill racing shoe in my running shoe quiver. Okay, moving on to Jack Rabbit. Now, I don't own this one. Let me pull it up here. I don't own this one. I've heard a lot of people encourage me to give it a shot. Maybe this summer, it's another trail running shoe uh, from Ultra, the Lone Peak Four. I've held it. I've tried it on in, in a running shoe store here in Denver, but I just, uh, uh, again, it's like I can't buy every, every trail running shoe out there on the marketplace, but it's $30 off right now, coming in at $89 from jackrabbit.com. Again, down below, that is the Ultra Lone Peak 4. Uh, I tried it on, once again, I tried it on in store and loved it. And moving on to the next shoe. Oh yeah, now you gotta go quick because the sizes are going fast from Dick's Sporting Goods. That's right, the Nike Pegasus 35 Shield. So if you are a long-term thinker and you're getting ready for maybe next winter, if you live in an area of the country or of the world that has a lot of slush or sleet, or cold winter rains and you want a shoe that has a little more uh, resistance to the rain. They're not waterproof, but resistance. This is not the shield. Why? I don't really need uh, water resistant shoes because in Colorado, we just, uh, we're a pretty arid climate, uh, but this is the Pegasus 35. So just so you know, the shield, what does that stand for? That means it's water resistant in the Nike lineup. And I, I enjoy the Pegasus 35 for easy days. It's not my favorite easy day shoe, as you know, but uh, a lot of people love the Pegasus 35 lineup and the shield version is coming in right now from Dick Sporting Goods at $99. So under $100, that's a pretty good price point. Solid find down below from Dick Sporting Goods. And moving on to one more shoe from Hola Bird Sports. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right or if it's Ola. Ola Bird Sports, uh, it's spelled like Ola, but anyway, this is a little bit of an outlier. Shout out to all the cross country runners out there, all the high schoolers. If you're looking for a cross country spike, I think this might be able to pull it off for you, especially if you do a lot of racing on grass uh, golf courses. Okay, it's a little bit of an outlier. I don't own this shoe, but it's the Puma Evo Speed Star V4 and not too many sizes left, so you gotta move quick. But we're looking at $29, $29. It's usually, I believe $99 and it comes in at five and a half ounces and it can be, I would say also, it might be more leaning toward the track spike uh, category, but I'm just looking at it and I think it could also cross over to golf course cross country races. Just, I can just tell by looking at it. So check it out, Ola Bird Sports down below. And once again, thank you, that's all I've got. I hope that helps you at least get you moving in the right direction. Deals is the keyword and question of the day. Does anybody out there have any other leads down below in the comments, let us know. And if you post a link, just so you know, sometimes YouTube flags links as spam. So if your link doesn't show up, that's why. Uh, but just post down below, what other Memorial Day weekend running shoe deals have you been able to find? Uh, and I believe it's everything's gonna end on Monday. Uh, so I hope that helped a little bit, at least to get the ball rolling. And again, uh, re let's remember those who gave everything uh, so that we can be free to go out and run and to buy running shoes and to enjoy this, this life that we have here on this earth. All right, that's all I got for you. I hope that helps. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other.